Good morning! Welcome back to the vlog. I thought I would take you with me today because I'm actually going into the podcast studio today. It's not specifically a podcast studio, but it's where it's a studio where I go to record my podcast. So if you have been on YouTube, you've probably seen over the last couple of weeks um, that I also video my podcast and we've been putting them on YouTube, which has been going really, really well. And I think it's just nice to have like a a visual version um, of the podcast that go out every Tuesday on the kind of normal podcasting apps that you listen to podcasts to um, and yeah I just like having the visual version and also it really helps for the reels that we do on Tuesday that look a little bit like this um, so yeah so I thought I would take you with me because I am in um, maternity prep x games mode at the moment so I am going off on maternity probably first or second week of August I'm due on the 23rd of August and basically the plan is um the plan and the execution because it will be executed is to record all my podcasts up until December which means <laughs> that it really is x games mode so I did a bit of a timetable um, and then spoke to my podcast manager about it so basically over the next June July and August I'm going in twice a month into where I'm going to take you today um, and I'm going to do four each sit-in so usually po my podcast lasts about 20 minutes um, if I'm on a bit of a TED talk if you listen to the podcast you'll know what I mean <laughs> but if I'm on a bit of a rampage and I get really passionate about what I'm talking about. Sometimes they do go for 30 minutes, but what that means is I can get four recorded in two hours. Um, so in two lots of two hour uh, time slots, I can get eight done, which is really, really good. So I'm going in today to record um, for July. So these will all be July's podcast which is very exciting um, and I'm going to take you through kind of the process of how I plan them what happens when I get inside the studio what it looks like you can meet the team behind the studio it's called highly flammable um, I actually have used it now for I, I think it's probably coming on to a year because we moved to Shrewsbury in March of last year um and I think I pretty much found one of my friends who lives here, is, who's also a business owner, Alex, um, recommended Highly Flammable, which is where I go to me. And um, so I think I've been using it for like just over a year now. Um, and so we're in the swing of things. Everyone knows the setup and what we do and how we do it. Um, I have two different camera angles. I have the same layout every time. I use the same room to keep the consistency with what it looks like on the videos which is really good so yes so I thought I'd take you with me um kind of show you what I do in the morning to prep for it I'm going there for about half past 10 um and like I said I'll get four done today um and then I'm booked in twice in July might have to be three times in July actually and then once at the beginning of August depending on how I feel you never quite know in pregnancy you never know how you're going to wake up feeling so yes so come with me for a little day in the podcast studio. maze of the world would be called glam done nowhere near a molly may glam but <laughs> we're only recording said podcast episode um but now i'm gonna have a little bit of breakfast barney is on his adventure walk this morning so emma's coming 
we call her Auntie M, to pick him up um, and go on an adventure walk. And then I'm gonna sit down and just go through the plans that I made from last week. So I had in the diary last week to plan the podcast for today. So I just wanna go back over the plan, <clears throat> make sure I've got everything in for everything to run really smoothly, um, which I'm gonna like talk you through how I plan and what it looks like. Um, and yeah, I think I'll do a little check-in over the weekend from what's come through from clients and some stories and a TikTok, and then we should be good to go. Okay, so the first thing I get ready is a change of clothes because although I record on the same day, <laughs> And probably everyone knows that I record on the same day. I like—I don't like having the same outfit on for all of the podcasts because then like my Instagram feed becomes very samey. Um, I don't know. I just think from a visual perspective, it's nicer to have different outfits. So I will wear this to go and have this as my first outfit. And then I need three other outfits. I usually at the moment, purely because of pregnancy, <laughs> just take three other dresses because it's just easier. No, I'm not a cleaning YouTube. I could be because I love cleaning, but is there anything better than seeing hoover lines on the carpet? What? No, <laughs> it's honestly like my favorite thing to see. Oh, so satisfying. But I feel like Okay, before we do anything, it is breakfast time because you gotta feel your body on days like these. And you gotta have breakfast before you have coffee. Um, however, went to a little shop around the corner from us on Saturday when I went with a, for a walk and breakfast with mum and dad. And I picked up carrot cake porridge. I love my protein porridge. That's pretty much what I will have every single morning. Like porridge oats, protein powder, mix it up, uh, strawberries, um, and two little squares of dark chocolate. It is incredible. I will have it every morning. Sorry, Jack's still hoovering. So yes, so I thought I'd try something a little bit different this morning. You can do them with overnight oats or baked oats, which I think would be cool. But carrot cake oats, back in my day, back in my fitness days, I actually used to make these from scratch, but so much easier just in a bag. Oh, hello, Mr. Hooverman. Going to say anything? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> so yes, so I'm gonna make these um, and then I'll take you up to the office. Jack is also throwing us back to the 90s era this morning. <laughs> and we were saying, any of you out there who are millennials, which I feel like we're now in the media, we're now getting like picked upon for our habits. I saw the other day where it was like, you can tell you're a millennial if you still wear ankle socks and not like full, <laughs> full, what would, I don't even know what they'd be called. Normal, Normal socks. socks. <laughs> um, no, they're crew socks, aren't they? Crew socks. I try and try and try and try to look cool in those socks, <laughs> but. Try hard. <laughs> but I can't, I can't make them work for myself. Like I think it just draws, the attention up the leg. I much prefer a gap between my trainer, the ankle sock, and my legging. And I'll stand by that. Mm, can't beat a bit in here.
Okay, so we are in the office. I was just getting back to a couple of DMs that came through yesterday over the weekend. I put up a poll about working together. So at the moment, purely because of maternity leave, the only option to work with me one-to-one -one is 90 minutes or for one month. And obviously that will stop soon because I will then be off on maternity leave. So I was just getting back to the incredible, I think there was about nine women who voted in the end. So I was just getting back to those and having some really, really great conversations around how they're blocking themselves because literally that's what people come for, come to me for, for me to unblock their subconscious mind. So I wanted to take you through how I plan to go in the podcast studio because I think there's like so much resistance for other female entrepreneurs to plan so far ahead, right? And a lot of the time it's because and I see this very often, this is something that I work with with my clients, because they fly by the seat of their pants. Or what do I usually say? On the edge of their seat, no. That's the Fly by the seat of their pants. <coughs> yeah. um, Jack loves it when I use that phrase. I can never say it right. <laughs> um, and basically, I have been very strategic with the podcast for a couple of years now. And the podcast for me is like an absolute non-negotiable in my business. Whenever I have a client who says, should I have a podcast? I'm always like 100% yes. It's, it's an absolute must because it is the most incredible nurture tool that I have in the business. And I love how someone and a lot of people find me through like recommendations or just kind of like fall upon me through videos or whatever. And through every person that I've ever worked with, pretty much the one sentence that they say before we start working together is, I binged your podcast and I know that you're the one that I wanna work with. So for me, the podcast is like hands down non-negotiable and that's why through the subconscious work that I've done, I am able to stay very, very consistent with recording the podcast. I've had the podcast for four years now, which seems ludicrous. And it's gone through many, many a change. We've had so many names. It actually started with Women Who Can, is what the podcast was called to start with, which is very original. And this was the logo. Not my best work, but um, <laughs> it's it's gone through many iterations and, into a little secret here on YouTube. It's about to go through another one before I go on maternity leave, um, which is really kind of prepping me to what I'm coming back to from maternity leave with the new business and becoming NLP teacher, trainer qualified. Um, and I've just kind of started things in motion for that now. Anyway, so I'm very strategic with the podcast. I have a full strategy that I actually teach my clients, which I will not be giving you on here because it's for my clients and my clients alone. However, what I can say is that the podcast works in tandem with what I'm currently launching on Instagram or what I'm currently launching in the business. So if you go back through my podcast and not many people will be aware of this, but if you go through my podcast, there is a lot of times where you can pretty much tell what subject I am launching per what I'm talking about on the podcast. And this really, really helps me to be able to know exactly what I'm gonna do. Like today, for example, I'm recording the whole of July. So July is still, we're only on the third of, sorry, we're only on the third of June. Um, July is still quite far away in business terms, but I know exactly what's launching in July. So I know exactly what podcasts to do that suits and ties into that. I also run dynamic ads on the podcast as well, which basically I use a platform called Captivate. Um, and I really love that platform. I've been on another one, which I cannot for the life of me think of what it's called. I'm gonna to have to put it on the screen. Um, <laughs> but you basically can record an ad and you can slot it into any podcast and you can slot it back out. So it doesn't stay on the ad forever, but if you wanted the ad in for a certain time, you literally like slot it into the ad and it adds it to your podcast. And then you can have like a start date and an end date, which I love. So we've got a lot of ads coming out over the next couple of months while I'm on maternity leave because we've got a big funnel being set up at the moment. So yes, so when I'm planning, what I will do first of all is actually 
over on this wall, which I can't share with you because it's still a little bit of a secret, but over on this wall is basically what's launching and what's coming for June and July. So I can look at that on my little whiteboard papers, which I absolutely love. I show my clients and they're like, what is this madness? It's like these rip off whiteboard wall stickers and you stick it to the wall, write it on and you can just take it back down again. Um, so I basically write like what's coming up. So I know, you know, what's going out on the 17th of June, what's going out on the 24th of June, what's going out on the 1st of July and so on. So when I'm looking at, at what I wanna do with the podcast, I will then break it down. So within ClickUp, um, I have like a podcast section. Let me just quickly show you. So within my ClickUp, I have this podcast section here. And then obviously you can see all the ones that I did for last year for Q1, Q2 and 2023, Q3, Q4. I haven't done Q1, Q2 for this year. I've just done them all in the same one. But I've got my 2024 and then basically you can see all of the ones that I've planned um, since we've started the year. So I go into the July podcast and then I can start to kind of map out what I'm doing for each of the weeks of July. And what this means is I'm not turning up to the podcast studio with like a hope and a prayer and a wink and a prayer and hoping that I can pull something out of my ass, which I can do. <laughs> However, it won't be strategically intertwined with what's going on with the business which sometimes is fine, right? Like I get it, you wanna do something on the fly. However, when I'm doing things for maternity leave and I'm not being as present as I would be if I was here, I wanna be and be leading people to the right places and warming and nurturing in the right way. I don't write scripts or anything like that. I think purely because I've done it for so long, I didn't really at the beginning either. One, because I love podcasting. It genuinely is my favorite thing to do in the business, but two, because if I've got like a topic, so I kind of put like a, a high level topic in the plan and then I'll maybe give myself like three or four teaching points. And because a lot of the time I am talking about the subconscious mind, which I could talk about forever on, um, I just let myself riff and off I go. And it usually provides the best podcast because I get on my soapbox <laughs> and I get all passionate and I give it you how you need it. A lot of people say that I always call you out in the podcast, which <laughs> yes, yes I do and I like it in a good way because it makes you move. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna spend a little bit of time going over the July podcast that I planned last week um, and just making sure that everything's in there, everything's done so I can literally rock up at half past 10 today, sit down and record them you know, in, in the two hour slot that I've got. Jack has just dropped me off and I'm gonna go and grab a coffee before we get started. I only had a cup of tea this morning. I really watched my caffeine intake on the old pregnancy, pregnancy diet. So let's go grab a coffee first. studios which like I said earlier this morning I have been using for probably about a year now and there has been a lot of spaces that I've used they're a content creation studio in Shrewsbury I'll tag them here absolutely incredible and I love the amount of space like the versatile spaces that you can use so there's a couple of things that I've already used this one this space here actually was let me see if i can pan around we actually use this for a welcome video that i've got for my one-to-one -one container so if anyone signs up to work with me one-to-one -one, they get the onboarding system come through and there's a little video of me welcoming them in and telling them about the welcome guide so we actually use this as the backdrop which i bloody love and ironically 
really matches my office. <laughs> it's like exactly the same arch and pretty much the same color. Um, this space, I love. We use this one oh, for, I actually did some like TikTok speaking videos, which I'll kind of put up here, but I just love that backdrop. Beautiful, beautiful. You've got the quirky toilets, which I don't need to show you the toilets. So everyone knows what a toilet is, but yeah, like, and basically when you come in, depending on what we're doing, like I've used this as a backdrop for one of the launches that I, that I did, um, and Aaron and Alana who own this, um, they basically like set it up and it's, it's literally like you're sitting in a living room. They've got so many props and and furniture and everything that they put in, um, which basically makes it look this, like the setup that you want. So this is the downstairs bit, um, and they also do a lot of events in this bit here. I've been to a couple of them and would love to run an event actually when I come back from maternity leave myself. Um, and then the studio that I use is upstairs. So let's take you upstairs. <laughs> So this is the upstairs section and this is where the magic happens. Hello. Hello Aaron. <laughs> um, so this is the setup that we always use and I was saying, I think it's actually been nearly a year since Whoa. I've used you and wow. yeah, mad. And we've got our setup now to a T, haven't Absolutely, we? Yeah. Like every time I come in, this is what it looks like. <laughs> Yeah. Right, yeah. The Look how pretty it looks. Yay! So, with each podcast, we actually have two cameras on me because we have like a, a side view and a front view, <laughs> nice and simple. Um, and then we basically have, I have, you always have my computer on this desk, which you, you always see on the video and then the microphone. And basically the mic is attached to that camera there. So once I've recorded, Aaron pulls the audio from it and, um, and then we get the video too, which you kindly clip and do all the fancy bits. Um, and yeah, so that's my little chair. This is my dressing room here. <laughs> um, and I think that's about it really. There's nothing else to explain. Oh, this bear here apparently has actually been here for every time I've recorded, but I only noticed it last week or the week before. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally you. always been here watching over me, but I only noticed it the last time I was in. I love that he's always just in the, just like <laughs> yeah, the yeah. every single video. You never see it in the video. Like if you actually look at any of the videos, you can never see him, but he's always there. <laughs> Okay, that is the first podcast episode recorded. I put a timer onto my laptop. Let me see if I can show you. I put a timer on, basically. I'm just gonna reset this um, for 20 minutes. And then that just kind of like goes at the top and it goes down at the top. I don't know if you can see it. You can see it going down. Um, and it basically, just so I can keep on track of the time, however, Having said that, I had a lot to say in that podcast episode. I was talking about being in good subconscious shape and how this really changes the trajectory of growth in your business. So I had a lot to say about that one and I was talking about my experience as well. So I'm gonna go straight into the second one. Um, we kind of carry on filming and then Aaron will come back up, reset the batteries, just make sure we've got enough memory. There is nothing worse than doing a recording and it not recording or the battery running out. So we keep an eye on that. So I'm just about to go into the second one um, and then we will take a pause, unrecord, stop recording, change the batteries if needs be and uh, get going for the next two. <sighs> and that is a wrap. Yes, I have gone through four podcast episodes today. I'm just gonna take a seat. My throat starts to really hurt after a while, after I've been speaking for a while. But four podcast episodes have been recorded we are ready to then get them into editing. So what happens now is Aaron basically 
um, takes out the audio of the podcast and will send that to me separately, which then goes into the kind of formula SOP that I have with Nicola, who's my podcast manager, who I'll tag here. Um, and then the videos come through already pre-cut. So as you saw, we had two cameras um, and Aaron kind of cuts. So there's two angle, uh, like tech camera angles of the podcast, which then will go onto YouTube, be used for reels and used for YouTube shorts. But yes, four in the bag. I'm so excited. There is nothing better than knowing that I have podcast, like I currently have podcast episodes done for the next six or seven weeks. And like I said, because of maternity leave, we're stacking up. I'm doing more and more as I go along. Um, I think I'm going to try and get to December, if not like October, November, because I think I'll be good to kind of be back in and creating at that point after the wee babs come along. Um, but yes, so now I'm going to go and rest my voice. Um, I'm going to go and grab a little bit of lunch. Jack will pick me back up. I'll go back home um, and I'll take you with, you with me for the rest of the day. So I've got a bit of client work to do this afternoon. Um, there is some free, I've got a new freebie coming out. So I'll send that over to the team and then just a bit of a relax. I think I'm at the gym this evening. So yes, that was the podcast day. Um, I don't think there's anything else to show you here, but yeah, I'll take you with you for the rest of the day. Good afternoon. We are just heading off on a wee little dog walk. If you can hear Barney's footprints, it's because he does several circles around and around before we go out. Here we go. Circle number 27. Hey, around you go. <laughs> this is a, uh, a daily occurrence for Barnes, isn't it? Cherub. Can't wait for more than a second having his lead on if we don't exit the door. There's another circle happening as we speak. I can't, I can't get through. But yes, we're gonna go on a dog walk. I have just, um, I've been doing quite a bit of catching up today. Monday's always a bit of a catch up day with clients over the weekend and things that have come up um, and planning out the rest of the week as what I as to what I've got coming up. So I've just done that this afternoon. Gonna go for a dog walk. Here's the pool bags. Uh, the lead and out the door um, and then head to the gym at this evening. outro but someone walked past um and i'm just sitting outside the gym waiting for jack to finish tennis i have gone and done a full body workout while he was doing his tennis drills um so i've just done seated shoulder press lateral raises lateral pull down cable seated row dumbbell hip hip thrusters and the abductor machine so it was a really good workout i really really enjoy that one and then i like tag it all up in an app which i think i showed you um in the b-roll so yes that kind of concludes the day um and will conclude the vlog because i was just doing a little bit of a podcast day with me and then obviously added on a little bit extra um it is half past eight now so we'll be heading back home um for a shower maybe a little bit of a bite to eat because i didn't eat before we came out and um although i'm not hungry the baby probably is so must eat um or maybe i'll just have like a protein shake or something i don't know here he is the tennis man walking down the street. 
<laughs> to everyone he meets. Hola. How was that? Oh my god, I'm enjoying it. If you want to. How was that? Hola. Hola. Did you enjoy that? Yes, good. I watched you. You good? Yeah. I was watching you in the gym and I was watching you. Um, I was watching you here, just seeing you there. Cool, I was wrapping up, but I'll wrap up in the car because there's far too many people. Far too many people. <laughs> luckily, I just played Jennifer. luckily, the DJI doesn't it's look like discreet. we're doing anything, it's very discreet. It looks so. like we're talking to the table. <laughs> Weirdo. <sighs> okay, hello. Hello, Munchkin. <laughs> I was going to say I can finally wrap this vlog up in peace, but it doesn't seem that way. <laughs> Um, but at least no one's walking past here, but yes, the day is done. We are back home. I've just put a fish fingers in the oven because for some reason, don't know where it came from, but we're pretty obsessed with a fish finger sandwich at the moment. And that's what we're going to have for dinner this evening. So I've just put that on. Um, like I said, I'm not massively hungry, but the baby needs the food what I'm saying uh, but yes thank you so much for joining me today I hope you've enjoyed it um, I know it's not been the full week but the day uh, there's enough footage to really take this vlog to the max today um, and I've loved showing you how I do the podcast and what the studio looks like so I will see you on the next vlog have the best day and if you haven't already make sure you are subscribing to my channel to be informed of when the next video is out and give this one a like thank you bye